Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Since last time, I mastered my additions for Dart there to unlock his ultimate edition there. I did the same thing for Hassel there to unlock that. I'm not, I didn't do anything with Rose off-screen, and Mero, I just used her additions whenever I could, but I didn't go out of my way to master hers, because, well, I'd like Cat's Cradle to get a little more screen time. Normally, what I like to do when I'm going through this place is I like to fight one battle per screen, but since that would result in me editing out, like, 30 random battles in an episode, I figured I'd just fight all those battles off-screen in advance so I don't have to worry about that. Now, you want to try and stay on the right side of the screen so that quicksand doesn't pull you in there. And I do want to get a treasure that's down this way if I can. If no one will get in my way, good. Oh, nice. I'll uh, put that to use soon enough. And then I intentionally want to fall down here. And, haha, -ha, treasure. Hopefully I won't accidentally walk off the platform. Thank you. Well, not that I'm going to use it, but it's there. But anyway, we got the Gladius. Uh, another upgrade for Rose there. So, yeah, it's a little stronger there. Okay, well, let's get out of here. I would think Rose wouldn't have a problem inflicting instant death on enemies, but apparently not. But anyway. Okay, so we got that one. There's a few treasures that are a bit off the beaten path, but uh, we'll be fine. Ah, this is so much easier when I don't have to fight everything on the way there. Stay on the left side. Yeah, as you're getting into that screen there. And this is another one where we got a treasure and then a whirlpool to fall down. If I can avoid the sandworm, there we are. And we got power down, another really good... Uh, repeat item. It's basically the same thing as power up, but in reverse there. You combine that with speed down, it is obscene against certain boss fights there, as long as it's just one of them. Careful, don't walk off the edge. Okay, good. And I think that's all the treasure we can get here. We go up the right side, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, right. oh wait. No, we do. No? Oh, we don't. Okay, this is the wrong way. Never mind. I forgot. We were... Yeah, there's different places where you can fall down up there, and I lost track of where I was. Whoops. But anyway, yeah, they all take you back to the same oasis area here. Okay, now we'll actually start heading towards the end of this place. And maybe we'll get some explanations for... What the hell's been going on between, well, Disc 3 and Disc 4? What, did we head all the way back to, what, the Barrens here? Well, no, this is the Death Frontier, the fourth region that, I guess, no one settled after the war with the Winglings, and probably for good reason. I don't know why they decided to d design sandworms that way. They kind of look like a fish out of water or something. Maybe it's all relative. This screen is also pretty good to use as a base for grinding. What I did when I was doing that was I looked around, found a good spot where some sandworms were spawning, and then you could just basically sit on your ass and let them come right to you. And that's a and sandworms never counter your addition, so it makes it really easy to counter or really easy to perform those difficult additions that they would otherwise counter. Like Hex Hammer! But anyway, okay, on this screen you want to stay up at the top. You got a chest in the upper right there. Awesome. Oh, this is a bit easier than I thought it was. Now, remember the screen just before this one? Because I'm going to be coming back to that off screen. Because, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a walk to get all the way back there. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking of before. But anyway, what do we got? Haha! -ha! One of the... I think it's the only source of bandit shoes in the game. I could be wrong. There might be an enemy that drops it as a rare drop, but I don't think so. 
Now I'm gonna give that to Dart because I really want to master his Blazing Dynamo before fighting some of the super bosses of the game. And I should be able to do that pretty effectively. But anyway, okay, that's all the treasure in the Death Frontier. So I'll just meet you back on that second to last screen there. Oh yeah, but once you go through all that, yeah, it takes you back to the second oasis, not the third one. So we still get to walk all the way back there. Okay, we're back. And well, this screen takes us right to the end. So pretty easy. There are some special enemies that we can meet up with out here now, but I'm not gonna do that today. I wanna get to, well, where we need to go. Where are we anyway in relation to where we were? Well, let's see, the, yeah, Deningrad, that's all the way up to the north there, the green area. And then the area in the far northwest, that was uh, Gloriano, where uh, Velweb was if I can ever get out of this screen. There we are. But anyway, well, let's check out the town of Ulara. See if anyone's home. I thought no one settled in this area, but I guess we were wrong. Oh, hey, another one of those wingly transporters. Ah. Well, that doesn't really help us very much, then, does it? Oh, so that's what she was talking about back in when she was in that room alone back at Fletz there. Oh, okay. What happens if it rains? I would think that, well, I guess they're in a desert. It wouldn't rain very much. But if it did, I would imagine it would be pretty easy to see it. Well, someone's got to live there. I wish I had one of those chokers, but I don't. I have the Bailey curse instead. Well, you take what you can get. Oh, okay. Why would I be? Well, I'm afraid that you're going to stab me in the back, but... And I like how we're all just okay with everything that's happened. We'll learn a little more about that. But yeah, they do kind of jump around in the plot rather oddly in this game. Especially at this point. But hey, we got another new item. Well, another item in general, yeah. But I'm going to get rid of my Sun Rhapsodies. I only want to hold on to Moon Serenades. Because we could buy some Rhapsodies if it ever became a problem. Oh, hey! Wingly! Huh? How's it going? Well, I suppose it would make sense that they would be here because, well, no humans would want to live in this place. Well, she's still wearing the choker. Oh. I mean, wasn't that the Wingly guy that they were talking about from the cutscene? It must be my imagination. Yeah, we kind of don't want to die. Wow. That was fast. I wonder how Rose did that whole black monster thing anyway. Yeah, I, I just figure it's wingly magic or something or other. Ah, well, okay. Well, let's take a look around. See what we got going on here. There's some places where we, well, we just won't be able to go. Let's head on up here first. Oh, well, then I'll be more careful. But anyway, let's head on over here. We've got a save point area if you want to use it. 
let's see, there's something else that I want to pick up while we're here, too. Actually, a few things. Ah. Oh, evidently. What do you mean? Ah. Well, uh, good, good. To protect themselves? Ah. Well, that's rather cynical. But, okay. Now, let's see. If I recall correctly... See, right around here? Ha-ha! Secret Stardust! I didn't know if that was actually, like, right there. I knew it was somewhere in the area, but... Well, I got lucky. Oh. Well, I, I, I guess so. Okay, how's it going? Oh. So what is the Stardust plan? Oh. Well, we've almost got them all. Gotta catch them all. But anyway, as long as we're here... Well, let's see what we got. Alright, well, let's check out what they sell here. I don't know what use they would have with money, since they don't trade with anyone else, evidently. But anyway, we do have some new equipment here. So I still want to buy the Fairy Sword for Dart, even though I've already maxed out his Dragoon levels and I have the Soul Eater, because I'd still rather use the, uh, what is it, the Bandit's Ring to boost his uh, speed and get more addition practice in there. So get a little more uh, SP gains for Miranda there. She can use it if you're going to use her. And the Thunder Fist, I am going to use it now. But you want to hold on to the previous weapon because there's going to be some enemies who are Thunder Elemental. And I, you would deal like no damage to them. But anyway, as for, let's see, boots. Let's see. I want to buy... Who do I have boots for? We got them... For Dart and Meru there. So what I want to do is buy Magical Greaves for all my party members. It boosts your speed by 10. So not quite as good as the Dancer's Boots or Dancer's Shoes or Bandit Shoes. But pretty close. And I still want to buy a sixth one of those. Just so that I can switch boots around as needed. I may want to give the Bandit's Boots or Dancer's Shoes to someone else eventually. But anyway, that's all here, and, hmm, it looks like there's a teleporter over there, but I can't reach it. Well, let's see what this one sells. Hmm, nothing that, well, okay, we got these status inflicting items. Not that I ever use them. If you like using them, let me know, viewers, because, yeah, it, it seems like why bother using status effects when... You could just kill them just as easily. At least the non-repeatable ones. The repeat items are amazing. But yeah, the consumable ones, not so much. Let's see, there's still a couple more. Well, uh, Stardust I want to get, but... Hey, get back here! What are you doing, anyway? Ah, yeah, that's a long time. It seems like a strange number to pick, 11,000. I wonder if they just meant, like, 10,800 to go with the whole 108 theme or something, but they just rounded it to 11,000 or something. Hmm, no one's at the shop here or something. Oh, okay. Oh, spoiler alert! We're gonna have nighttime eventually. But yeah, nothing we can do there. Okay, hmm. Oh, there's a Stardust back at the shop. I almost forgot. Well, you know, I'll come back there in a moment. I thought that wasn't until later, but no, it's, it's here. Is it Charles or Charlay or 
It sounds like a French name to me. Ah. What do you mean, the things you didn't tell her about? Yeah, what, what moon, what's a moon signet? I think they kind of talked a little bit about it, but not too much. Oh. Well, good, good. We're still kicking ass then, huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, they were kind of talking about that before. Well, yeah, that seemed like a pretty good reason to me. Ah. Yeah, that seems like a, a bad idea. Doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. What siblings? Hmm? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, okay, I guess we do need to talk to her. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of variety. What's going on? What do you mean? Well, yeah, they were kind of enslaving us. Oh, uh, sure, why not? I don't remember this at all. Oh, yeah, he was kind of the guy in charge. And took Zeke down with him. Oh, well, yeah, that would be the whole idea. Well, yeah, the, we were kind of fighting for our survival. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that guy, Flanville. Don't all you guys know how to use magic, though? Well, yeah, the actual Faust, <laughs> he is way more powerful, as powerful as the apparition is. Ah, well, yeah. Ah, hmm. But as we all know, all myths and legends in JRPGs are 100% accurate. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, sounds like Melbu Frama's main man, huh? Ah. Well, he's still around. I'm surprised we would be able to take him down. Well, evidently he's still around. Why he's just been kind of sitting there for... What, however long, 10, 11,000 years, I don't know. That does kind of remind me. Oh, well, first things first. Um, you examine this. Haha, -ha, secret stardust. But yeah, I was kind of thinking earlier, and some people have asked me this too. H.C. Bailey, what was Zeke doing uh, for all this time? Well, I mean, after he broke out or something or other like that. And you know what? I don't know. I mean, evidently something happened to him between when the petrification spell wore off and gave birth to Dart, and 
Well, now, like with the burning of the village of Neat or something. But they don't explain what happened in that, what, 18 year gap or something? But anyway, another secret stardust that I forgot. It seems like, okay, Zeke was pulling the strings from behind the scenes, right? What took 18 years to get around to doing any of this stuff? I don't know. I mean, maybe it took him that long to find Shana or something? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to clear out some inventory space soon. But oh well. But what can Shao Frama tell us about what we should do next to stop Zeke? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.